What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Link's Awakening here on the backlog. I'm Base 637, as you all already know. And, well, without further ado, we're going to dive right back in. In the last episode, we challenged the second dungeon and came out victorious, as always. And, uh, yeah, now from here, we have to go to the prairie, if I'm not mistaken. Because apparently it just cannot wait. It is very, very impatient. But the thing is, in order to get there, we need some money. And this part is going to be tedious. Very, very tedious. Lucky for you guys, I'm going to speed this part up. Because if I don't, we're going to have at least an hour of footage just of me playing this god dang train game. It's not that it's bad, it's just grindy. No one likes grindy. But anyhow, let's get started here. Yeah, I might miss that, which would hurt financially. Cool, cool. Oh, I had it, it was just floating there. Now I'm gonna speed this up after I get to a certain point. Right now I'm trying to clear the way for some more things to spawn in. I'm not too sure how the restock works right away, but I think the more you clear things out, the more new things come in. So I'm gonna grab this thing, walk back out. No thanks. Oh, don't worry, I'll be back. Begrudgingly, but I'll be back. The chow chow figure. I don't know who I give that to offhand. Alright, cool. So it's the same as it was the last time I did this. Essentially, I'm going to try to get the Sony Rupees every, every time. Go from there. So a base of 10 going in for investment to come out with, well, roughly 50 rupees a time if I successfully get all of them. So cue the time lapse in three, two, one. Okay, so that was, uh, that was fun. I'm glad you don't ha didn't have to deal with what I just had to deal with, because I hate grinding. It's not that I even hate grinding, it's just the way that's planned out. I actually think it might have been faster if I had just cut the grass. I mean, yes, you get larger amounts of rupees at once with the crane game, but you get a constant drop, at least, with cutting the grass. With the crane game, you have a chance of losing it, in which essentially each game costs 10 rupees, so... There's 70 rupees there. In order to break even, you have to get both of the rupees that are actually there on the first try. Otherwise, you're taking a loss, and it may not be much, but it does add up, and that's a lot of time going into it. But we have our bow and arrow here, and we can make this swing all day long. Okay, got the bow and arrow. I'm gonna go back out, go back in, get arrows. Unless it comes with arrows. It does come with arrows, but not a full quiver. Let's go buy the quiver. Or not the quiver, but the arrows. Fill the quiver. And go from there. Alright. I don't think I saved the game yet, actually. I've been looting dangerously. Yeah. Please. Okay. Okay, so we now have the bow and arrow, and we no longer are grinding. I'm finding it definitely better to just 
cut the grass is more consistent, but at the same time, it all comes down to preference. It's just a matter of how do you want to go about getting the money. Realistically, yes, you do 70 rupees per like each rotation of the crane, but you lose. You could potentially lose out on 10 rupees if you accidentally drop it, so it's your call. But we have what we needed, which was the bow and arrow. Now, I found that a hard way initially when I was playing this just in my own free time. But, now that we have it, our life's going to be a lot easier. Now, we can't go directly to the first, or to the third temple offhand, unfortunately. We're going to do a little bit of a side mission here. Some strange energy is pouring from here. You should find out what it does. Okay, so that's a warp station, if I'm not mistaken. That's something I really haven't messed with too much. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we have to go talk to a dude down here. This is a temple we're going to be going to, but we can't get to it yet. There he is. Now, I don't remember your name offhand. Aren't you flashy? Richard. Salutations! You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk, and I was forced to flee to my villa. So, you're looking for something out of you. I may have just what you're after. But first, I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left in the castle when I fled. Uh, okay. <laughs> Smashing! To tell you the truth, there are five leaves. Oh, what the heck. And I want them all! You greedy bastard. Okay, you'll need to do some digging, so buy a shovel. Are you off then? Good luck. Okay. Well then. We're off another fetch quest in order to essentially... Well, to further our own fetch quest for the instruments. So we have to go to the castle, which I don't know if I've actually found yet. I haven't, but by the map here, I'm figuring it's right in this area here. So, from here we have to do a hop, skip, and a jump. I'm figuring up and around this way. Yeah, well, we gotta blow that up. Come up and around. Alright. We have a game plan. Uh, really should go into long hair if this heroing business doesn't work out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's just not cool, man. I'm not trying to play peekaboo with you. Yeah, get away. Yeah, no, no. Nope. How about you? I think I'm gonna need that double one. Okay, this thing is in our way and it needs to not be in our way. Well, then that happened, can't deny it. Just gonna roll with it. Run. I said run. There we go. Nope. 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 Ah! Ow. Well, aren't you a pest? Okay, I know just what to do to fix you. There you go. Just let me in. Come on. I won't ruin your time too badly. I'll leave you with the things I don't need. Eh, fine, so we gotta find a way around. Hello. That looks like another one. Chiquita, Chiquita, Kiki the monkey. Hungry. 
Kiki the monkey. Okay, so this is kind of tying into what Tiran, I think his name is, yeah, Tiran, was saying about getting some bananas. So we have to continue on with that fetch quest that we were doing earlier. And if I'm not mistaken, I have a can of dog food. I think there's someone down by the beach who's looking for a can of food. You can stop being a cheeky little bugger. There we go. Yeah, there Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Ow. You stop running, thank you. No, you're not my problem if you're down there. Yeah. No. Bad. I'll kill you. Oh god. I nearly just got ganged up on. I'm sorry, but I like my lunch money and I'm not giving it to you. I really am starting to notice the frame rate drops here and there, but it's nothing outlandish, but it is annoying. Let's hope we do a flip. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, that was just, that's my own fault for just walking right into that. Yep. Give me that. I don't need a power stone. I just want that heart that you took from me. What's that you have? It's canned food? For heaven's sake, man, give that to me, please! I'm gonna lose it if I can't get that can! <laughs> oh, thank you, I'll take that. You wanna eat dog food, dude? I can't stop yet, but... I know you're an animal, but even so... Didn't even try opening the can. Good God. <laughs> munch, munch. That was great! I know it's not for, not fair trade, but here's some bananas. Yum. Okay, cool. That was a lot shorter than I was expecting that to be. I was expecting two or three more steps off hand. This is a long walk. Yeah, 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 bork, bork, bork. Aren't you ferocious? I shouldn't say anything because I've seen you eat moblins alive. Alright, so you are the main way of teleporting around. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not venturing down your part of the alleyway to get my fucking shit and eat, so... Again, the language cut. Yeah, that's gonna take some time and, uh, development. Or some censoring on my end later on, but we'll work on that as time goes by. There we go. Yeah. No. Yeah, die. Okay. Okay, Kiki, I got your bananas right here. Go away, shit. I think I'm giving up on it. <laughs> bananas, bananas, ooh, ooh. Give to Kiki. Bananas, bananas, ooh, ooh. Kiki, monkeys, come. Repay him, Kiki. Okay. If that's what you do for two bananas, what would you do for a whole bunch? Hmm. 
monkey business done. Bye bye. Ooh, Kiki. Oh god. I thought monkey business usually involved more poop, but I'm gonna let that be. You found a stick a monkey left behind. You take it. I am not going to ask questions of where that stick's been. But we got into the castle, which is exactly where we need to be. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm not going to ask all of you for any advice because I think I remember what I'm doing now. I mean, I could play Mario here. Yep. By the way, a guardian acorn that I didn't ask for. Alright, alright, alright. What you gonna do, huh? Huh? What you gonna do? That's right, take it. Take it like a man. That's right. See, that's what happens when you get impatient. You end up taking some damage. So don't do what I do. Take it down. Get that shovel out. Not there, maybe here. Nope, okay. Alright. Might take more than one pass out here to get all the ones that are out here. There we go. My question is why are the feathers buried? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna make our lives easier here. first feather here. It looks for leaf. Well, I mean, to be fair, it does look like a feather, but that's neither here nor there. I've lost out on that. I'll take that rupee. Oh, they've already started respawning. Well, not in that time. Well, I mean, at least it's smartened up and decided not to have, you know, Face me head on, because I'm too much of a man here. Oh, so that's how I do that. I thought that was going to be involving something different, but alright. Alright, another leaf. It still looks like a feather. Pretty simple. All right, all right, all right. Nope, nope. Want some, huh? Huh? Do you can handle this? Do you can handle all this? There you go. And that looked good there. Yes, it was. Okay. Now we can get in and out of here if we have to. I mean, it'll be good for getting out. I don't really see us ever having to come back here for any particular reason. Because I don't think that's how the game works, but then again, I don't know. So... 
Okay, we're gonna need some bombs. to go and then we can get the heck out of here. Get away from the electric thing. Oh, you look like a threat. Now oh, we're on the upper floor. Never seen a door like that normally. Though I'm thinking it might involve a jar. Yeah. Well, now the door is a jar. Yeah, you can hold off on the, you know, bad pun. You can call off a bad pun police, I know, so it's pretty bad. Ow. Okay, I'm taking a lot of bad damage here. Oh, I don't think my heart gets a little bit. Well, crap. Oh. Ah. All right. Thank you, whatever your name was. I can't remember offhand, but it was your blessing that did this for me. All right, but we got all the leaves. We can go see Richard about that reward. Actually, not knowing her name's gonna bug me a little bit. Alright, cool. That's colored in the map. Which is hot. Crazy Tracy's health spa, that's right. Tracy. Thank you, Tracy, for your special gifts. As cringy as they were. Why am I wasting my time with this? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, but we're gonna go back to Richard, and then we're gonna go from there. Yeah, nope. God damn it. Get away. Oh, God. I don't need those things going anywhere near my bum hole, please. No, thank you. Give me that heart. Ah, get away. Freaks of nature. God. Leave the haloopy and just go. That's it. Disregarding all of you because I don't need any of you. Oh, this looks like it's going to be a bear all laughs. Theron. Oh, base. I see you have a nice steak. What are you trying to get up there, Pally? Can I borrow it for a second? Sure, why not? Uh, uh, you see, I would help you, but common sense would dictate that you shouldn't have done that. I think my bow and arrow would have been a, a safer bet. Not sure how it happened. I mean, think about it. You just watched it squabble off in the sunset being chased by bees. I think you can figure out that he messed up. Bien. I see you've recovered all of the leaves. Now, move the statue and you'll find your reward. So you're rewarding my labor with more labor, okay? Alright, so now we're in the dungeon of mysterious things. Yeah. 
Oh boy, a secret seashell. But what do you do with it? I don't know, it's a secret seashell. How am I supposed to know? I'm just gonna file it under roll of it, because I'm not sure how I jump into that. Oh god, we're facing these crab things. Get that, trigger it, move it. Grab it. Shut it. Alright. Oh boy. Well, looks like my weed whacking service is gonna do me a lot of kindness. All right, then. Well, it's not falling down any holes. Soil sleeps secrets beneath your souls. Okay, so I'm figuring that's that tile is an indication to dig. Aha! We've done it! We've gotten the slime key. Now we can open the gate to the open the gate in Ukoku Prairi. Ukoko. Alright, anywho. Now before we open up this gate here, we're going to head back to town. This thing is right there, there's no harm in just restocking real quick. So we have used a bit of our arrows, and I haven't seen too many respawn, like, not respawn, but drop rates. In terms of just, like, having them drop the monsters, I haven't seen too many arrows drop yet. So, it's better to be a Boy Scout and be prepared for every situation than not. Okay. Give me that. Yeah, 10 euros, 10 rupees. At least you're not ripping me off this time. Good god. Yep, yep, yep. Anything else I need while I'm here? I've only used three bombs. I'm gonna let that ride. Alright, but I feel like this is going to be a good place to leave off this episode here. Thanks everyone so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, stay current, everybody.